Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop CC 2021 tutorial. This one, I'm going to show you how to add water or a wet look to clothing and or sweat. Basically, you want to make the stock footage, which I have here. I've got a stock photo of a guy working out. I want to make it look more realistic and I want to add in like he's been exercising type of look. And I've gone ahead and done that here. Uh, this is a rough cut, so it's not 100% perfect, but it's the technique that counts. I'm going to show you step by step. So let's just go ahead and take that off and I'm going to create this step by step starting here. The first step of course is you want to drag and drop the image that you're going to be working with into Photoshop. So I'm going to start from scratch and do it again. I'm going to open it and boom there's the image kind of yeah, it's pretty close. Um, there we go we got the guy he's got a Spartan shirt on he's rolling. The next step here is you're going to see the lock button over on the um, underneath the panel here, left click because this layer is partially locked. Just unlock it just like that. Now, the next step is I'm going to go down to the bottom here. And actually, you know what? Before I do that, I'm going to duplicate this layer. It's better to do it this way. So, just so that we're working non destructively. So, I'm going to left click on the layer. I'm going to drag and drop it on that plus sign. And that creates a layer, it creates a duplicate layer. Pardon me. So, I'm going to turn the bottom layer off we're going to work on the top layer so we have something to compare it to as well. The next step, making sure you're selected the top layer, you want to create a fill or adjustment layer. So left click on this little button down at the bottom here, the half circle so to speak, and we're going to go and select the brightness and contrast option. Now, you want to dial this in like I dial it into I want the brightness to go to about minus 80, so we're going to reduce the brightness considerably. I'm going to dial it in, minus 80, and then for the contrast, I want the contrast to go way up to 80. So this is because we're going to be working with masks next, and I want to have this type of look. So there we go. We've got our adjustment layer. We're on our way. The next step, and this is a very important one, is you want to invert the mask. We want it to go from the white mask, which is the default, to a black mask. And the way to do that is to hit Command if you're on a Mac or Control if you're on a PC, and hit the I button or the I letter. <laughs> Boom, now it's a black mask, perfect. The next step, making sure you're still selected on this mask, is we're gonna now brush in the wetness or the sweat or the, the discoloration, so to speak. So left click on your brush tool like this. And for me, for this type of work, I work with a soft round brush. So I'm just gonna drag this out a little bit. It's under general brushes, soft round. So you can always select that if you're following along with me. Also, I leave the opacity at 100%, as you can see up top here, but I reduce the flow down to 40% because it allows me to be a little bit more precise, and I'd rather paint a couple times and get it just right as opposed to painting once and, well, hoping it's right. So those are the key attributes that we're going to work with. Let's carry on. The next step here is we're going to go ahead and now brush in the color. So making sure that you have white selected so when you're brushing, the foreground color is set to white. We're going to now brush in some of the sweat and some of the wet look. So I'm just left clicking on it and I'm just adding it in. So again, it, this all depends on the type of work you're doing and, and the type of uh, discoloration you're looking for. But I'm going to go a little darker on, on, on this side over here because it's already yeah. darkened. And I'm going to add some in here. And then I'm going to add a little bit in here, maybe a little more down in that area. And then at the top, I want to paint in, you know, maybe he's been, he's got some sweat going on up here kind of thing. Again, this is totally up to you how you guys do it. But this is just to show you the technique. And yeah, let's go with something like that. What do you think, guys? A little darker, a little darker, maybe a little bit of sweat down here somewhere. He's been training and I don't know, something like that, right? Like, let's go, yeah, let's try and make it believable, right? Like he's just been training hard and he's got some bits and pieces. All right, so we've added in some some of the coloring that we're looking for. Perfect. Now, let's go ahead and make a few more adjustments. Right-clicking on the layer here, I'm going to right-click, and you're going to see something called Blending Options. Make sure, in case you don't see this, if you right-click over top of the mask or you right-click over the layer thumbnail, you might not see it. So make sure you're right-clicking outside of that. Click on Blending Options. All right, now I'm going to move this out of the way so you guys can see a little better what I'm doing here. But on the underlying layer over here on the white side, you can actually separate this 
indicator. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key or the Option key if you're on a Mac, and I'm going to move this a little bit. So I'm just dialing it in just to get it a little bit closer. This is not a necessary step, but this is just something that I like to do just to give it a little bit more of an organic feel. Again, not a necessary step. I'm going to now left click on OK, and we are on our way. OK, guys, so we can make a few more things here. The next step is we're going to duplicate the layer at the bottom here. So I'm going to take this second layer here, the one that we're working on, I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to drag and drop it on top of the plus sign. So now we've got another layer on top. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to convert this into a smart object. And there's a couple ways to do it. I like to right click on the layer, drag it down, convert to smart object. And you'll know it's a smart object because you're going to see the little uh, objecty, smart objecty thing in the bottom right of the thumbnail. I really should increase the size of my thumbnails, but we'll do that in, in a future video. Okay, so now the next step, making sure you're on the top layer here, we're going to go to filter, we're going to go to filter gallery, and we're actually going to apply a filter to it. Now there's two that work well. One is called plastic wrap, and the other one is like kind of like a watercolor. So I'm going to go with, well, do we want to do watercolor first or not? Let's see here. I'm going to, I'm going to zoom out. Let's go with watercolor first. I'm going to left click on OK, and it is going to apply a little bit of a strange little watercolor filter. Not to worry, we're still good. We're going to go ahead now, and we're going to go back to the filter here. So I'm going to left click on the filter, and I'm going to paint a little bit more. Not too much, it's not doing a whole lot here, if I'm being honest, but we've got that water filter look. Perfect. I'm going to reduce the opacity of this layer down to about 30%. And now we're starting to get a little bit of a nice looking look here. So it's not, it doesn't look like it's been painted on, it looks like it's natural, and that's what we're going for. Okay, perfect. The final step here is I'm going to apply a second filter. I'm gonna to go to the filter gallery again. And this one is the one we talked about earlier, the plastic wrap. Now, the plastic wrap, again, it's just to give it a little bit more of an organic look. I'm going to reduce down the look here to 12, Detail 4, Smoothness 4, and I'm going to hit OK on that. That basically just adds in a little bit of a look to it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and add in a little bit more here. I'm going to go and take a look, a deeper look in here and see, okay, look, look at his body. You're going to see here that it's got a little bit more striations. It's got a few things inside the pick, or inside the, the watery component or the sweat component. And from there, guys, that's how you add in that type of look using Photoshop 2021. I hope this tutorial helped you out. I got a lot more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.